That's what you get for horsing around. Well, this is what you get for horsing around. We are the district crime suppression team, and by design, and the way it's formulated by the chief is our primary objective is to respond to those violent calls for service and be available for those calls as a uh, primary uh, strike force from the very get-go. Some of our primary targets when we're on the job is to uh, focus on drug dealers, gang members, and parolees who are out of line. Okay, check these guys out over here. I don't think they're uh, playing around. Uh, no, they're fighting. Oh, they're yeah. going good. Oh, they're going pretty good out of here. Here we go. Let's go get them. Hey! Hey! Let him go. Here, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. One Sam, 13 on two. He's asking for my money. Put your hands in a small of your back. Hey, Dave, 836, that guy? I'm sorry, one Sam, 13, go ahead. That on a physical disturbance, Palm and Olive will take one more yes. unit. Put your hands in a small of your back. Palm and Olive, please. Right there, on a small of your back. Lay them on your back and don't move. Yes, sir. Hey, I said don't move. Don't move. I only got one pair, bro. Roll over on your butt. Sit up. You have any weapons? No, sir. Fold this leg in. What's your name, man? Stand up. Charlie? Can I get my backpack right Relax, there? we're not going anywhere. Hey, Dave, you want to take Charlie to have him sit over there? I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to have him sit on the sidewalk, yeah. too. Come Relax, on over here. I'm going to talk to you right now. Come on over here for me, young man. What's your name? My name's Charlie. Charlie what? Charlie. Are you on probation or parole? I'm on parole, sir. You're on parole? Yes, sir. All right. Hey, listen up, man. Right now you're being detained because we've seen you guys fighting. We're not yeah. sure exactly what's, what's cracking here in a minute, OK? Yeah. Are you in, uh, need any type of medical assistance? I've seen a guy kind of smack you down there a little bit. What happened? Well, nothing. Cause I came over from over here, cross-training. This guy is talking to me, telling me, talk to me. I said, man, what the f you talk to me for? And he just started getting crazy and fighting with me. So I tried to get away from his ass. <laughs> and he, and he pushed me, dude. He pushed on you? The, on the ground. That's, yeah, when you guys, that's when you guys drove up. Drove mm -hmm. up. And I said, what did he do that for, man? And he got drove up on me. Yeah, how much have you had a drink today, buddy? Uh, I had about a beer. About a beer? He was hitting you? Yes. Okay. Did you ever give him any money? No, No, okay. And you don't know him? No, I don't. How come you were hitting him when we pulled up? You knocked him to the ground and you started slapping him. How come no, he did I, that? I, I told him, you don't want, you know, you know, you know, get his pegar on me. Because he was picking on you? Yes, sir. Did he challenge you to a fight? He's the one that started. started. How exactly did he start it? He punched me. That's the, that's the man. That's the, I, I'm asking you for right he now. He pushed me. He tried to hit me in the face. But he Was he able to? No. He no. didn't connect with you? No, no, no. You're not injured at all? No, no, sir. Okay. How much have you had to drink tonight? A couple of beers, sir. Uh, a couple is what? Two beers. Two? Yeah, what I'm size? Yeah, I'm not going to lie, two. What size? 16 ounces. I'm two 16 drunk. ounces? Yeah, I'm not drunk. I know what I'm, you know. I'm not I can smell a lot of alcohol coming yes, off of yeah. you. Yeah, well, yeah. Do you I'm live not... near here? You live yeah. nearby? Where? Uh, Calvajito. Okay. You know where Brown is? All right, all right, hang tight. I'm on parole, sir. You're on parole? Yeah, on so you check in with our department here? Yes, sir. Register I, your address and yes, whatnot? Sir. Yes, sir. So I they do. have your current I, address? What address it. are we going to have them file for you? They got, uh, uh, um, I don't remember. I got amnesia, so I didn't. You got amnesia? Yeah, I can't remember my address. You can't remember your address? Um, is it the address you just told me about over here in Kearney and West, though? Yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a yeah. yeah. Uh, amnesia, do you have any other medical problems? Yeah, I got, well, just that, just that medical problem. Uh, Anything else? No, I don't. Sir. Are you sick or injured? Uh, no, sir. All right. He's this, saying something about a 211 over there, a robbery or what? Well, you know what, I'm trying to get him to explain if this was a, an attempt robbery or if it's just a panhandling that kind of escalated to a shoving match. And he can't really articulate the attempt robbery to me as the whole thing. You seem to be the, the bigger aggressor of the two when we're driving Well, up, when right? we got here, he says, yeah, I was defending myself because he started pushing on me. And that's what I was trying. Was he pushing on you and trying to beat you up while he was demanding money? Go ahead. Don't believe that. No, we're at the Palm in Belmont. Nobody with that, sir. Yeah, well, just no, relax. I'll, I'll know what I'll do. One Sam 13. If you have us out at Palm and Olive, uh, it should be actually Palm and Belmont. Sorry about that. But uh, this guy's adamant that our guy on parole started the fight. He was asking him for money. 
We just got into a fist fight. Okay. Oh. Come on over here for me, young man. All right, so you still contend that the only thing that was going on was uh, that's it, this guy that's just it. started blow up on you yeah, for no reason? That's it. When I came across here, he just came up attacked me, dude. For no reason? No reason at all. Uh, just out of the blue, huh? Yeah, that's when you guys drove up. He was attacking on me. You guys seen that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we've seen that's him yeah, kind of coming down on you a little bit. Me, all right. Man. Okay, we'll see what we got here in a minute. Uh, you know, if you don't mind just standing by with this guy right here, we'll figure out uh, what my partner Dave's got going over here in a minute, okay? You want me to start a tag on him? You know, if you could do that, would be great. Okay. Probably be for 3056. Alright. Sounds like you were trying to protect yourself, right? Right. I gave him some change and then he tried to harass me for some more money and he threw me against the wall and I protected myself and I threw him against the ground and I just slapped him once. And... Got every right to do that, alright? Come on up, man. Yep. Appreciate your cooperation, and we just gotta handcuff everybody all involved and wait to see what we got, and that's our job to investigate and make sure everybody's, you know, stories are straight and whatnot, and, and yours definitely pan out, so. When we when we drove up, it looked like you were robbing him. <laughs> no, I just protected myself. Hey, yeah. Nothing you have wrong every with right, that. Every right to do so. Nothing wrong with it. Are you trying to take my handcuffs or what? Uh, actually, okay, good to go. <laughs> all, right. all right, get gather up your stuff, and you're walking home? Yes, sir. You need a taxi cab? You okay to walk? I'm okay, I'm okay, sir. Okay, gather up your stuff. You. Appreciate your cooperation. All right, Charlie. I wasn't here to see what happened, but uh, he claims that you are trying to rough him up a little bit and maybe take some of, some money for some beer. Give me a, give me the cups. I'll be in there. Put a hand on Yeah, all right. All right. Well, put my hand on my and then, Yeah, he kind of had the best of you on the ground. He kind of gave you a little slap across the face. That's all. That was a slap, though. Slap. Yeah, okay. Can't put a hand on his ass now? Not right now. He's gone. Huh? He's gone. He's walking away. So he's gone. Yeah, he's going home for the evening. You're going to be going to jail. He's, he's, he's going for free. Yeah. Well, when you're on parole, you play by different rules. You know what I mean? Especially when you got those conditions indicating you can't be drinking and you're in blatant violation of it, all right? I have a sit down and talk with your uh, parole officer tomorrow. Thank you. Well, I've been in town since 1986. Uh, moved out here from just outside of Boston, Massachusetts. One thing that I noticed right away uh, that I liked was the weather. It's always sunny, it's always clear for the most part, and that's one of the attractions for the tourists is the weather, the casinos. So it exposes us to a lot of different ethnic backgrounds, a lot of people from other countries. People are here for the weather, for the attractions. So on the job, coming in contact with all these people makes it pretty, pretty much, an, I just saw, sorry. I think that's a 417. It's right in here. Put, dude put up her hands like this and a lady was choking him from the back of that truck. This one here in the car? Nope, it's a truck right here, right here, right here. Hey, get over here. Stand in front of my car. That's not what I saw you doing. Put your knees against that bumper right there. Don't even look over there. Face that way. Do you have anything on you I need to know about? No, we're just playing around. OK, put your hands behind your back, palms nice and flat like you're praying. Look at my lights. Stop right there. Do you have any weapons on you, anything no. like that? Can't you girl horse around? I just saw you choking her from the back of the truck. That's why I'm putting no, you in handcuffs. Playing. Well, she doesn't just have a look on her face like you're playing. OK, stand there and relax a minute. That's what you get for horsing around. Well, this is what you get for horsing around. OK. Here's the deal, OK? My name is Officer Woodard. I'm driving by, and I'm going to tell you what I saw. Well, you seen you pull by, and I was like, oh, Stop. Shoot. I'm going to tell you what I saw. I saw you in the back of the truck, and you had your arm around her throat in a chokehold, and she had to put her arms up, which is basically flagging me down, asking me for help. I'm only going to give you one warning that any false information you give me tonight, as of right no, no. now, is against the law, and I will book you on it. Yeah, no, I okay, wasn't, I wasn't so I want the truth from you the first time or you're gonna go to jail tonight I'm telling you that right off the bat because yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you yeah, and I want you to be honest with me yeah, So no. what is the what's going on between you well, and her? We came from the bar and her ex-girlfriend or somebody she lived with was here And she pulled over here and she was wanting to walk and I said don't walk And that's why I tried to grab her and pull her back. I said don't walk. I said it's no big deal She's like why are you starting? I said I'm not starting. I said let's just go home and her coke fell off And when her coke fell off is when she went to grab it and I went to grab it at the same time we were both standing outside of a truck. I didn't want her to walk. Her friends lived down by Sam's town. I didn't want her to walk, but I said, where are you going to walk to? She goes, home. I said, well, I'm going home. 
I said, what's the point in you walking home if I'm going there? I said, just let's give him trucking home. But we pulled over, yes, because we weren't fighting. But this girl she was with before was real bad, and she just slept with a lot of people, and she hurt her really bad. And I moved her in with me, and I've done a lot of stuff for her, a lot. And I don't want her to go back to a bad situation. OK, if she doesn't verify your story, I'm telling you right now that you're going to be under arrest for battery okay. domestic no, violence, and you're going to go to jail tonight. I wasn't meaning to grab her like that. OK, here's Not what I'd like there. you to do for me. What's your name? Hi, Tanya. Tanya. Yeah. Miss, what I'd like you to do is you see my bumper? Yeah. Put your knees right against that bumper and face forward for me, OK? How do you mean my knees? Like this? Just, yep, just put, your, just put your legs right there and just stay that way and face forward for me. Thank you. OK, explain to me what was going on from the very beginning. Like I said, um, a girl that had a crush on me was in the bar, and she had a problem with it. And then we started fighting on the way home. So you pull in here, you tell her you're going you know, to walk home, right. to avoid a confrontation right. or an argument, and she does what to you. I got out, she grabbed me, and I tried to reach for my cigarettes, which I paid for, which were on the other side of the dashboard. When I went to get it, she got me in a chokehold. How'd she get you in a chokehold? Did she grab you and pull you towards her? With her arms. Did she punch you? She didn't punch me, she just grabbed me in a chokehold with, with her arms. Yeah. Did she squeeze it tight? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you lift your neck up? Get any marks on you? Turn, turn your head just a little bit. Turn, turn towards me. Turn towards me. A little bit of red mark right here. As I explained to her, okay, anytime there's a domestic law, uh, domestic violence in the state of Nevada, it's a mandatory arrest. I have no choice about that, okay? Mm -hmm. Based on what you've told me and based on what she's told me, can't, you know, from what I saw firsthand as I was driving by, she's gonna be arrested for battery domestic violence tonight. There's, there's no way around that, okay? I just tried to pull over and try to walk home. And, and that's fine. And be right back with you. She has a mark on her neck. I don't know if that's from right now or five, a, five days ago. That's a hickey. I didn't choke her. OK. Um, well, from what I saw when I drove by, you did have her in a chokehold. And she's stating that she didn't want you to have her in a chokehold. She wanted to walk, and you weren't letting her. I didn't so want based to get on her. what I saw and what she's telling me, you're going to be placed under arrest for battery domestic violence. Hey, okay, do me a favor. Come over here. Thanks, Don. I want my car, my keys, and she has a set okay, to my go house. Have a seat. I need my have, house keys out of her pocket, too. Have a seat right there. Stay right Last there. Last time I did this, they didn't give me my car Where's keys, though, sir. Last time they wouldn't let me get my Stay keys Stay right there. Don, do you want to talk to her? Yeah. Brief, OK? Please don't. Just make sure you stay outside the vehicle. Don't cry, OK? Please. But don't cry. I love you. I wasn't trying to do nothing bad, but this is what happens when you're doing this and they see you and they think you're doing something. You might have thought I was trying to hurt you. I know you've been hurt in the past, but I wasn't trying to hurt you. You told them I grabbed you and choke on I wasn't trying to choke you. But that's what you told the people. I can't lie. That's what he's saying. I can't lie. But you might have thought I wasn't trying to hurt you. She's going to be fine. It's going to be a minimum of 12 hours, and then we'll get this all wrapped up, OK? This just happened like five days ago. She had a chokehold on me in the uh, apartment that we that we live in, big time. She almost choked me to death. Well, hopefully, we can give you some information where you can put yourself in a better situation. Okay. All right. All right, ma'am. Have a good night. Okay. You too. Drive careful. I feel like I'm living the American dream here in Fresno. My my family's been in the valley a long time. I'm fourth generation law enforcement officer, and the fact that I live here uh, means you know that I I'm, I'm going to take personal responsibility in it. My dad always said, you know, if you, if you get something for nothing, uh, it has no value. Well, here, you know, the city that we live in and the beautiful Fresno, which, which I enjoy, um, is made by partially by my work that I do and by the work of all the other law enforcement officers and fire personnel and everyone else who, who contributes here. Officers have just called out for help. Code 3, I guess they have some type of a subject that's just ran from them. Uh, I'm unsure of the crime at this time, but they've called for immediate help. I believe they have a subject that's down and bleeding, so it's going to be some type of uh, assault with a deadly weapon. I don't think we're going to be able to... What happened, man? You've got a lot of damage to your face. How, how did you get that? Just so the other guy... Punching? Uh, two guys. Two guys? Okay. Two guys. So the other guy hit me there, and then... And then both, both, uh, both guys fight with me. Sure, fight so with you. The, my partner uh, and then Faye and everybody. So Did they have any weapons or anything? This guy? 
What do you have? No, I don't have it, nothing. No weapons at all? No weapons. So I heard they ram you into a wall. Is that how you got the cut? No, probably it's when, when, when hit me. From hitting you? Yeah. OK. We have the floor or shelf in the store yeah. when they were Shelby, fighting yeah. in the store. OK. Yeah, there's, there's uh, two. He, he can only identify okay. one. What, uh, what did the one look like guy. who you can identify? Yeah, it's a skinny guy. What race was he? It's uh, Latin. He was Latino? And Latino. Okay. What Do you remember what he was wearing? No, I don't remember. Okay. All right, partner, look, we got to get that eye looked at. The ambulance just arrived around the corner. We're going to take him over and do the field choke right I now. I got you. All right. This is right. Yeah. This is. Okay. This is one. When this is starting to problem. He started inside the problem. Did he assault you? Yeah. And then I tell him, get out of here, right? Okay. Okay, that's all you need? Yeah. It's a positive on that one? Okay, let's get you over to the ambulance so we get you some treatment. Okay. When you guys first arrived, there was the second guy outstanding. We got information from a uh, citizen who called in and said that she had just witnessed a subject climb into the dumpster and then climb out of the dumpster by the 7-Eleven. We immediately searched that area and found him laying uh, behind the dumpster. The one who's in custody now? The one who's in custody. He was just identified by the victim as being the second So the whole involved. time when we were messing with the ambulances and over there, he's been in that dumpster the whole time? He's been hiding right here, laying low. Go figure. OK. Good deal. All right. Go ahead and step on out. All right, listen, here's the deal, OK? Obviously, you're hiding in that dumpster for a reason, OK? Why am I? All right. Well, I don't know. Why would you be hiding in a dumpster? I'm not. What's going on? Tell us what's happening. Nothing. So you're just hiding in a dumpster because? Because I'm homeless. You're homeless? You... I mean, I hate to break it to you, man, but you look pretty clean. You got pretty nice clothes on. You don't look homeless. Well, I ain't doing nothing. Look, bro, if you're in trouble, you're in trouble. There's nothing we can do about it now. Well, I ain't doing nothing. OK. Well, you ain't why, got are, me you, out camera, you, why got... are you hanging out in the dumpster over here? You know, that set, you know that this store here has security cameras? Oh, I'm sorry. You got nothing to say about what happened? I didn't do nothing. OK. What were you doing in the dumpster? Just chilling. You're chilling in a dumpster? Yeah. OK. All right. You don't got anything to say about it. We, well, there's nothing nothing we can do for you. Well, if you didn't what do anything. What being arrested for? Can you tell At me? this point, I believe assault and battery. So Possibly assault with a deadly weapon. So can you check the cameras for me? Absolutely, we'll check those cameras for you. Well, check me, because I ain't on there, man. You don't know anything about our friend over here that's bleeding in the ambulance? Yeah, I have nothing to do with this. I'm just trying to go home. I'm just How many strikes do you have? I have one felony, yes, sir. You have one felony strike? Yes, sir. And this will be the second? I just got out today, man. You just got out today? Yeah. Do me a favor. Sit, sit back down in the car. You're a tall guy. Watch your head, all right? Don't hit it. Hey, do you feel like talking? Get a hold of me. Did you see the entire incident? Yeah, actually, I was just getting in, and uh, they were outside arguing when I said Well, let's do this. T take a look at this videotape right. and just kind of narrate it for me play by play. All right. And j explain to me what's what's going on as it happens, OK? OK. There's, yeah, we're right there talking. They're arguing, and I'm trying to tell the guy, just don't even listen to him. Come in. And then so he starts to come in, and then the guy, the guy, as you can see right there, he's still trying to start problems with him. He's right there starting problems, and I'm just like, well, come in, man, you know? There's our victim in the doorway. And then, uh, I don't know, a suspect, he's right there, like, pushing him, shoving. They're gonna, he's gonna start pushing him and shoving him, and then that's when I go outside. And I'm like, come in, man, come in, dude. See, I pulled him in. And there's our suspect in the hat. Uh, throwing the punch. The guy with the red hat was a was the first guy who started it. You see, and them guys are just jumping him, jumping him, and we're looking for something like to grab. The one in the hat was the uh, suspect who's extremely intoxicated or high on some type of narcotic. And then there's another guy that just runs in. Watch, you'll see him watch. He tries to start stuff, and he's all, "What are you doing, my friend? This and that." Why well, hit my friend? We're like. Hey, man, he came here, start stuff, and then he throws something at me right there. The tall subject who just threw the cone, he was our second suspect. And then from there, the, uh, the looks like that's when the foot, foot pursuit began. You know, Jesus, that's enough. I've, I've seen everything I need to see. Those are our guys, and we got everything here. Um, I'm going to take that tape for evidence. Do you, do you have any questions or anything? No, thank you. All right, we're going to go ahead and clear out here. I appreciate your cooperation, OK? All right, thank you.
we just went and looked at the tape of the manager, and it's pretty much just how the witnesses were saying. It all went down right here, right where the blood is. Uh, it, I think their story is just full of it, okay. uh, especially the, the one suspect, the tall one with the shaved head. Mm -hmm. He's just lying because, I mean, we got him right there in the doorway on the videotape. Okay. I think we're good to go. We got what we need. It's airtight. 911 emergency, Bentley 7811. Yes, ma'am, I need officers in my house right now. I have juveniles in my driveway. Um, they're messing with their vehicles in their driveway, and I have them on video. Oh, and we got them in the vehicle, too. We got the vehicle. You've got one that you're holding there? Yes. Oh, they're, they're leaving. They're attempting to leave. Oh, my God, they've got him attached to the vehicle. What? They've got my husband attached to the vehicle. They're taking off. They're heading. Your husband's holding on to the vehicle? Yes. Oh, my God, they just left. Okay, well, we'll get out there as soon as we can. I'll go ahead and let you go. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Right now, we're heading to a call, apparently, some juveniles vandalized the person reporting's home and the person reporting is now clinging to their vehicle and the vehicle is trying to escape while the person's still stuck to it. We've got a unit that's arriving out with the vehicle right now. I want to disregard that. I forgot what George is already gone. How you doing? Come talk to you. What's going on, man? I don't know. We were just um, messing around with my girl. The girls were there. We were just toilet paper in his tree. Okay. And then he came out threatening us and then, like all this stuff. And he punched me a couple times, so I tried to take off. Okay. And he was hanging on to the gear shift and messing it all up, and he broke it off. Okay. Why would you keep driving if he was hanging on to your vehicle? Well, just I just think he might be able to kill somebody doing that. Yeah, but I didn't want to get hurt or nothing. He was punching me too. He says it's my lips getting fat right now. He says you guys were urinating on his car. Was that happening or no? I wasn't no. urinating on his car. Did you do any kind of drugs or anything? I stopped smoking weed just a recently. Okay, who's who's might that be? What? A little bottle of weed that's in the car. I have no idea. No, you don't know. Okay. Not yours. No. I had just stopped like last week because I got in trouble for it. So I went cold turkey last week, huh? been arrested as an adult? No. All right, so what I want you to do, I want you just to stand there in front of your truck and put your hands in the hood and leave them there for now, okay? Be the one that was flailing from the vehicle there? Yeah. As soon as I came out and they started running, I got the girl by the collar on her sweater. Okay. Right? So I grabbed her and I stopped her. Everyone else jumped in and the kids started to take off. I said, no, you're not going anywhere. I put my hand in, I put it in park. I said, wait here until the police come. Okay. I said, you better look roll the window down. I said, I'm going to rip this window out. Okay. No, you won't. I said, yes, I will. And I pulled the window like I was going to break it. He's like, okay, dude, okay, dude. And he rolled the window down. And then he's like, you better step back. And he's revving the engine. And he threw it in drive. I said, you ain't going nowhere. He started taking off. So I grabbed onto the car and I'm going. He's like, dude, see that truck there? You better jump off now. And he swerved the truck. I felt the truck go by in my back. I was like, oh, dude. I said, you better stop now. And I grabbed it. When he came around the corner and I threw it in park and the truck's making this noise and it's come to a stop. He's like, stop, stop, and he's trying to put it back in gear. So I punched him in the face and I threw it when I then just ripped the gear shift off and this is where it ended. Were you in fear of your life or anything at oh that my, point? Or? I wasn't until he said, dude, see that truck? You better get off. And when I swear, I thought I was going to be... Clip. Was your arm stuck in the window? Yes. Okay. I'm just okay. still scared. <laughs> All right, go ahead and throw your shirt on there and just hang tight for a second, okay? All right. Okay, ma'am, you want to kind of show me a uh, terror of these kids ran in your house here? What, in the camera, I saw um, the, the boy come up to the vehicle. He walked up to the front of the vehicle, decided to take the leak at, at the front wheel. Um, the one girl, I don't know which girl, it was in with the ponytail, started toilet papering the uh, the tree there. Um, when I saw, saw that, that's when I went and, and, and got my husband and said, you know, those kids are here. We thought they were the other set of kids. Where are your cameras at? Um, <laughs> hidden pretty good, aren't they? <laughs> one's right up there in the corner. Okay. One's right there in the corner. I have one at the front door. Okay. And one on that um, the far end of the house. You want to show us that video then? Yeah, come okay. on in. My house. It's a little warm right now. That's 
system is right here. Okay. How you doing, bud? Excitement, huh? Weird, I woke you, up and I looked outside. I you, like, you know these jokers? We yeah. don't know yet. He'll, we'll see if he can identify them. This is where um, it's, it's going to start. You'll see the vehicle come across and then from there. See, so here they come all four. He goes up the side. See, he's already going. Oh, he decides okay, to get on the back that tire one first. on the back tire first. But this is the driver. You can clearly he see him urinating right there on the, on right, the vehicle. Right, and you can clearly see her toilet paper yeah, and everything. It's like, <laughs> does that look like Zach? I don't know. But he, does he really he drive a gray Dodge? He's definitely urinating on the back tire. Okay. I'm going to walk us back out there. What we'll do is we'll do a property report and we'll give you a seat oh, for the tape. Okay. Okay. I don't know what happened to the box to it. Okay. Yeah. All right, Casey. So nobody else could... Rats, something that's yours. Is the marijuana yours? Okay. Did you urinate on the pickup truck in the driving way? In the driveway? Okay. Did you drive down the street with this guy hanging out your window? All right. Go ahead and spread your feet apart from me, Casey. Put your hands behind your back. Put your palms together. Okay, Casey, at this time, we're going to place you under arrest for uh, essentially for urinating on the vehicle as well as battery with a deadly weapon for running this gentleman into a parked vehicle while he was stuck on your vehicle, and also possession of uh, less than an ounce of marijuana. This is one prank gone horribly, horribly bad. You know what could have happened if that man got ran over or fell and got underneath that truck? Yeah, come to All this for some toilet paper. OK, so go ahead and have a seat. Watch your head when you sit down. OK, great. great. Sir, just a bit of advice. Regardless of what they did, bad decision to go hanging onto the truck yeah. when the truck's driving down the street, um, especially since you have it on tape. Yeah. And that's the whole reason not yeah. to, to do that. He could have ran you into the oh, parked vehicle. You could have gotten close. killed or seriously injured, and it could have been a lot worse. Best thing to do if that ever comes across again, you got the video evidence of it. If they want to run, get the license plate. Just a little smarter decision in the future, okay? All right, but good job. Good <laughs> citizen's arrest there. And a couple people going to jail tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Going to uh, back an officer. I'm not sure how far off he is, but uh, it sounded like a loud disturbance. Uh, lady was uh, calling for police, and uh, it sounded like there was a bunch of people in the background yelling and screaming, so we don't know what we have really yet. Uh, I guess a call taker uh, couldn't get enough info in time, so uh, but it could be a fight or something like that, so we'll find out when we up here in just a second. Ma'am, did you call 911? Yes, sir. I sure did. Okay. What's going on? This woman in my house, she killed me. I saw her 90 years old. She I know. Sick. Yeah. She's 90 years old. And she asked me to stay in the video in front of her. And she stabbed me a while ago because we was talking. Because she was raising the devil with me. Okay. She did what? She stabbed you. She stabbed you. me with a knife. She got it now. She, she did a knife? Let me yeah, see this. The Let me see that. Me. Let me see that. Thank you. She was raising the devil with you. I had to do something. See, that's a Have you been right now? woman and I'm nine. I'm old. 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 I'm and then she go get I've been with her three months trying to help her. You know where it's coming yeah. for her? Been in here running over me. You know what I'm talking to me? I'm still. I don't know how bad it is. I'm hurt. Come in and hurt me. Okay. Sure ain't. I ain't going to let her come in. She had to stab me for no reason. Okay. I'm a 90 year old. It's 23rd of September, September, which is 9th the 23rd. I will be 91. Ma'am, how much you had to drink this evening? Who, me? Yes, ma'am. 
I drank a little beer. I ain't had that much. You had, you had a little I'm beer this evening? That's her whiskey, what they got. Okay, how did it start? It started off with her son. I tell them about her son. She ought not tell everybody about it. Okay, and, and that made what, you mad? That's what made her mad. It made her mad, and then her. what made you pick up a knife, though? No, she started on me then. Did she? What did she do to you? She ain't done nothing to me. She okay. started on me. A young woman like that, 50 years old, you think I'm gonna stand up and let her do something to me? By words. That's that's basically what we're, we, she, she was well, saying certain words to you that made you upset, is that right? Right, right. Okay, so right. That, that made you feel like you needed to grab a knife and that do a little bit of it. Before she do it to me. Okay, so you felt like you needed to defend yourself? I defend myself before she did it. Okay, well, that's that's a little harsh to pick up a knife and defend yourself over I somebody saying it. certain words to you. So well, let's did. let's understand. I'm not sure if the alcohol might have produced a little bit of it, that's but just have a seat right there on the couch, okay? Got a problem. All right. Did you get that knife? Tell my she yeah, got a right. problem. Okay. She got a, I'm um, got a problem now. She the winning problem. Telling you all about tell what me. it started all about about. Let me tell you what it started about. I told her she ought not to tell folks about her son cause she his mother. You can't He's tell me about son. my child. I don't know about your child. She's but you're not related. Uh -uh. You're not That's related not in any way. She strutted it all around. Her son's a punk. I told her she was And I talked to me. you about it. Okay, hey, we don't need to shout in here, okay? You're already, you're already, you're already hurt. She's That's just right. telling me her side of the story. That's it, okay? There's no sense in to get loud in here. All right. You're right. So let's show a little respect, okay? All right. Uh, 91 year old lady. She uh, has a friend over, and they've been doing a little bit of drinking, and uh, got to talking about her son. Uh, I guess the lady started talking about her son being a punk, and. This lady said, you don't need to be talking about your kid like that. And she got mad and she started saying, you know, little argument words going on. She felt threatened by that. So she went and grabbed a big old knife and felt she needed to defend herself. And she came up and stabbed her while she was sitting on the, uh, on the couch, put a nice little gash right there in her arm, puncture hole. Uh, they're going to look at her and treat her. And then uh, we got this 91 year old lady. I mean, she's, uh, you know, it's pretty much a good battery charge. So. We're gonna have to go ahead and do what we got to do and arrest her. Yeah, does she know where she's at right now? Do you explain to her the kind of consequences? What's going on? Over she's there? coherent. I mean, I, I explained to her that you know that there's no need in you know using violence towards somebody just over an argument. Um, so, but we haven't told her that you know that we're we're gonna have to take her to jail. I mean, she, you know, it's a it's a violent crime, and you know I've, I've explained that part to her, but she doesn't know she's going to jail yet. So, victim, uh, she gonna be go down, Leo? I think she's, she's going to the hospital. Yeah, she's, oh, gonna, she's have gonna have to go to the hospital. She's gonna oh, have yeah. to have a couple stitches yeah. to close it back up. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good little bit. Let's yeah, go ahead and get her and. Uh, Take her out of the deal since you've already talked to him. We'll okay. Go from there. Ma'am, okay. have you got a key to your house? Yes, sir. We're going to go ahead and need to lock the door right now because we're fixing to have to go downtown to the detective division and do some paperwork on you. You're going to be under arrest for, for battery. Let's go. Let's go. We'll find, we'll find something to lock it up with, okay? We'll, we'll try to call the housing authority and see if they have a, key, a spare key to come lock it up. Okay? All right. Okay. Did you find a key? No. 1040, do we have any kind of contact number for the housing authority? She stabbed one of her friends. Okay, miss, do you understand once more, as I explained to you a minute ago, why you're going to jail, right? Tell me again. <laughs> okay, you're going to jail because you stabbed your friend with that knife, okay? She wasn't and that's, a friend of mine. That, that, she that is a battery charge. That's a violent crime to, towards somebody, okay? Yes, so that's sir. why you're going to jail, and all right? And she was your roommate. Exactly, so I we... she ain't no my roommate, is she? Well, we're gonna have to get her evicted. I wish so. We'll, we'll get her out, but right now, that's why we're having to take you to jail, right. okay? Be careful sitting in there, because it's going to be a hard seat when you get in, but I'll hold on to you when you're getting in. All right, you're in. She was pretty lucky. The wound was actually pretty minor yeah. come, uh, for what it could have been. 91-year-old wow. seems like it's pretty old to be going to jail. Bless your heart. Uh, right now, we've just been dispatched to a call. Uh, details of the call are uh, a young lady happened to be driving down Boulder Highway with a friend of hers. She just observed her vehicle that she reported stolen about a week ago 
uh, driving in opposite directions. She's now currently behind that vehicle. So we're going to try to attempt to catch up with them and uh, conduct a uh, felony car stop on the stolen vehicle. Okay, units, code red this channel for the 411A. Two Johns with them. We'll be 467 on at Walgreens. We copy. Driver, put your hands out of the window. Open it from the outside. Put your hands, hands to the sky. Passenger, put your hands up. Over there. On your knees, face the same direction. Hands on your back, palms together. On your knees. Two John, we're code four, lift the red. Go ahead, stand up. In front of that car there. Face the car. Okay, how do you know him? How do you know him? He's in front of Mike's house. Do you know his name? His name is Brian. Um, Speak up, I can't hear you. He's probably given me a ride maybe two times. Okay, is this Brian's car here? I'm assuming so. Okay. Is it obviously not? Well, the car's been reported stolen, so. Oh, is my this God, your purse here? Me? Is that your purse? Yes, sir. Yes. How about that backpack? Does that backpack belong to you? Yes. Okay. Are you my, you the victim here? Yes, sir. That's your vehicle? Yes, sir, it is. What happened? Um, he, we were at a hotel. We came out, and I went to give the key, and he jumped in the driver's seat and took off. How do you know him? Um, I met him at the casino, and he he was telling me he he knew somebody that would give him two hundred dollars for <laughs> pictures, and would I be interested in taking the pictures for uh -huh. him? And I said, yeah. All right. So he took the pictures for him. And then we were leaving, got out of the car like an idiot, left the keys in the car, and he jumps in. And he's gone. He's gone. And then right now, I saw him, and I knew it was my car because of the front driver's tire. And you also recognized him. And I said, the tire, the tire, and the driver's side window is also broken. OK. And he just followed him, and yay! Well, you got your car back, but next time when you meet someone that you oh, don't, I don't want to know, meet anybody anymore. like I said, quick money's not always good money. Exactly. I... You know, fortunately for you, it worked out on your side to where at least you got your vehicle back. Well, this all worked out well. Now, how did you meet her? Casino. OK. How did all this come about? You met her doing what? Yeah. OK. And then what happened? We went to her room. OK. And, and why did you go to her room? Party. Went to party. Drugs party or drink party or what do you mean party? Yeah, maybe a little both. Hmm? Maybe a little both. A little bit of both? Okay. What's the story behind these pictures? You're supposed to be making money off someone that wanted pictures of you? I was supposed to be making money off someone that wanted pictures of me? Someone was supposed to pay you pictures for you? I don't know what she told you about that. I have no idea what she told you about that. I mean, it was, well, I mean, it's nothing to be ashamed of. If someone wants to pay for pictures of you, yeah, I mean, no, it's not like that. You know, what we were doing, we were there because we were partying. Okay? That's okay. what we were there for. We, not me. Pictures end up being taken. Is it going to be of her and you, or just of you? Um, and does she have the camera now, or do you? No, have the it? camera got thrown away. I do believe well, maybe that you know of. There might have been. No, it got thrown away. Okay. But if, as far as just me, now maybe there was something of her. Um, okay. Maybe or there was. There might have been a couple snapshots of her. Yeah. Did you snap any or no? Just a couple, yes, but... Okay, and she snapped a couple of you? Yeah. Okay, face car. You're free to go. Um, 
hopefully you won't be victimized again under these types of circumstances. Not all money is good money, okay? Not to mention, I'm sure there's gonna be some drugs involved here. I mean, there's gonna be a little more than you going to his room taking pictures. Okay, Fortunately for you, you got your car back. Now, hopefully you'll learn from this and go get some help to kick your habit. All righty. All right, good luck to you. See you later. All righty, we're done, okay? Uh, I'll, you can go to jail for possession of a stolen vehicle. Like I said, I've given you every opportunity to present your side of the story, okay? That's what you're going to jail for. Good luck to you, and hopefully we won't see you again under these circumstances. Growing up in uh, my small hometown in Reedley, which is just south of here, you know, I didn't have to worry about narcotic sales, usage, gangs. It was a real tight community. And with my father being in law enforcement for that town, you know, I learned good moral character from him. And uh, I think that's the uh, trouble in these neighborhoods is there's no one to teach the young kids what moral character is all about. Uh, we're in an area of town now in the central part that's uh, known for its drug, narcotics, and possession. So uh, we're going to go in here and see what we can find. We're going to contact this female over here. As soon as we came around the corner, uh, she started walking away real fast, and now she's kind of looking back at us a little nervous, so we're going to make contact with her. How you doing? Can I talk to you for a second? OK. You got anything on you? No. No? Is this my contact? Okay, I want you to take your hands out of your pockets. Sure. Take your hands out of your pockets. Okay, I'm gonna pat you down, okay? Yes, I told you I got a compact. Okay. That's it. A lighter, a compact, and my makeup. Why are you so nervous? Because I don't like you guys. You guys make me scared. Okay. Cigarettes. There's two pipes in there, but they're his. Okay. Yeah. Crack pipe, huh? time you spoke? Like an hour ago. You're under the influence right now. I can see you. Don't take me to jail, please. Huh? Don't take me to jail. Turn around. I don't have anything. Don't resist. <laughs> Baz 5, Code 3, Phil, <laughs> in the alley north of White. East of the tracks. <laughs> Relax, okay? <laughs> Relax, or I'm going to tase you. Lay, out, lay flat on your back. Put your back, put your hands behind you. Don't resist. Don't move. There's a big chunk of rock that fell out. Be secure, 1142 hours. It popped out right here. It's a chunk of rock. So it was like by Clark, right? Uh, in the alley north of White, as I uh, attempted to pat her down, she uh, took her compact out, which had narcotics in it, and she threw it. She threw uh, some dope down. I'm trying to find it. It's right here somewhere. Right here. All right, I found the narcotics right here. Piece of crack cocaine. It's right there. Another piece right here. What's, what's your name? You don't know? Okay, you're in the rest for uh, possession of uh, cocaine and uh, crack pipe, okay? okay? And also resisting arrest. I didn't resist no arrest. Well, yeah, you did. Okay. First call. Thank you, I'm pregnant, so uh, okay. I'm gonna talk to your sergeant. 
You what? I'm pregnant. I'm 17 weeks. Okay. George, copy. Sorry. You got a wagon coming for me? No, I was almost sorry. Ambulance. Fast five. Disregard the uh, wagon. She's pregnant. I need a code two back here. We're taking her to get her uh, checked out. She said she's 17 weeks pregnant. The reason I called you out here is because she requested to talk to you. So, because uh, she felt like she shouldn't have been thrown to the ground while, because uh, she was pregnant. But she tried to get away. I grabbed her, forced her to the ground. Uh, no taser application, no nothing. She didn't appear pregnant to me. Uh, she, you're 17 weeks pregnant, right? So. Has that been confirmed by a doctor? No? So how do you know you're pregnant? Because I haven't had my period in four months, duh. You worried about our little wrestling match and you're smoking crack and you're pregnant? I don't care, I want to die. What? So I'm good. I'm going to kill myself anyway, so it doesn't matter. Why would you say something like that? You got to think of your baby. I care about my kid. Huh? Okay. Okay. Why did you try to fight me? Why did you try to get away? Because that Mine's it belonged to that black guy that was with you, so he just left you high and dry, huh? Basically. What we're going to do is we're going to take you to the hospital, get you examined, make sure everything's okay, and then you're going to be booked into the Fresno County Jail for possession of uh, crack pipe, rock cocaine, and resisting arrest, okay? Are you familiar with it? No, not at all. Okay, they've had, they've had contact with her here this past week, and, uh -huh. and each and every time they've had contact with her, she's always been a hostile and, and very, very sarcastic, things of that nature. So it doesn't surprise me. Uh, this is Barbara. She's uh, 17 weeks pregnant. Uh, she tried to bolt for me. I took her in a headlock, and uh, we went down to the ground pretty hard on her stomach. Okay. So uh, we want her uh, examined before she goes to jail. Okay. What's her name? Uh, Barbara. Barbara, do you have any medical complaints right now? Yeah. What? My arm and my leg hurts. Yeah, I think uh, she was trying to get away because she had the, she knew she had the rock on her. I opened up the box that she had the crack pipe in and a cockroach leg fell out. And also some sort of uh, homemade smoking device along with the crack pipe. And here's the piece of rock cocaine that she had uh, on her possession. You know, the sad thing about it, she's smoking rock. She's out here possessing it, fighting the police. Sad, very sad. This is what crack does to you. We're en route to an injury collision where a vehicle apparently went through uh, one of the walls of a, a local bar. We've got units en route and fires en route to the location. Uh, the area we're going to is a uh, business area. There's a few taverns in the nearby area. On Friday and Saturday night, it's pretty busy, and more than likely, the bar is pretty full right now. Uh, we're going to get in the area and assist the traffic unit and see what he needs, and hopefully render aid if anybody's injured. We're going to be arriving shortly. 363 County arriving. Okay. Apparently, there's no injuries. Fire is going to be canceling. Good. Did you see this? Okay, I need you to go away. Make sure any, anyone's not inside here. I just told him somebody not to stop this car. Well, this appears to be the back office here. There's open bottles of liquor smashed everywhere. It doesn't appear that anyone's in here trapped, but looks like the car hit it pretty good. I'm thinking it might be a DUI. Is this your car? Okay, what happened? I don't know. I was in the club. Where was it parked at? It was over there. Okay. And how did it end up here? I don't know. I just came out the club. I have my keys somewhere. I said something about a gold escort, and I just okay. came right out the club. Okay. You know what I mean? It's got a black truck. A black? No. Okay. Did anybody see anything? No witnesses? We were a witness to this accident. What happened here? Okay. Somebody got, got ran over. We were driving through this parking lot right here, uh -huh. and this car just sped through, hit a man, flipped him over, and just kept on backing up. Okay, where's, where's the man that got hit? I don't know. I don't know where. You don't know? Did you guys call the police after you saw that? No, we went no. to the store to go tell. We reported it to the store. And you have a cell them. phone with you. I went to the store and asked them to report this. Yeah. Because my cell phone charger was. 
This car hit somebody. Yeah, he hit somebody. Physically hit somebody. Who knows? This guy might still be around here. Do you guys have any description of the person that was driving this car? You know what? They were driving so fast we couldn't see him. Was it a male, a female, black, white? A female. Female driver. Maybe Caucasian. I'm not sure. Okay. And then what happened after the car ended up here? Where did that driver go? No. No. I didn't see that. Okay. After, Where did you see the car? Did you physically see the car do all this damage? Yes. Okay. We were about right here, actually, and then the car was coming through and hit the guy, and then backed yeah. up really fast, and then drove into this. So where was right the here. guy actually hit at? He was hit about right there where that police car is. Okay. Was he hit hard enough to be flown anywhere? Yes. He yeah. flipped. So was he physically he, flipped. Where did, did you see him land, or could he be laying over there somewhere? No. He got up and walked away, and yeah. then we pulled out because we didn't know what this car was going to do, so we drove fast over here to report it because we didn't know if the car was going to drive back and hit us so we were like let's get out let's flee the scene so we don't get okay too. you know what here's the deal i'm not here to pry information out of you all right if you you know what no that's not a reason to be upset if you saw her driving the vehicle and you're withholding information from me that's obstructing an investigation wait a minute all right did you see her driving yeah she was driving all right Roger. Okay. Right. We need you guys to hang tight. Don't go anywhere. You guys need to stay right here. Right now, you're all three staying right here. Don't go anywhere. All right? Hang tight. Witness say she was driving. Were you driving the car? Were you driving the car? Okay. Were you driving the car, yes or no? Yes or no? Oh my God. Okay, it's not the time to cry. Were you driving the vehicle? I know yes it's or no? not time to cry, man. I'm Were you driving the vehicle? Go. Yes or no? Is that a yes? She was driving the vehicle. Oh my God. Vivian. Yes, okay. I was driving the car. Okay. okay. So why are you going along with all this story? Break? Because they're scared that they don't. I'm scared. I've got two children at home. How much have you been drinking tonight? None, I swear. Okay, so why are you lying to us then? Because you just my compounded your problems. I hit, he got scared. You hit your boyfriend. I didn't mean. Why to did? You, how did you end up accident. hitting your? Where is he? I, he left. Is he injured? No, he left. He got out the car. I went to reverse because I was getting ready to leave. I meant to hit the brake, and I kid you not, I swear to you. Okay, did you back into him or did you I drive forward? I accidentally hit him. It freaked me okay. out. And so I hit did the you get? Did you get out of the car? Did you get out of the car and check on him, or did you drive off? No, I did, and he took okay. off. Okay, did you get out of the car and check on him? I swear. Uh, yes, that's why. I, I, okay, I, why did he take off? Were you guys arguing? Were you arguing in the? Yes. So you had a confrontation in the car. He got out. And I went to reverse. I was getting ready to leave, and I hit the gas because. See, now your story is making more sense. You're in a heap of trouble. You are in a heap of trouble. Okay, why don't you do me a favor and have a seat for a couple minutes, okay? Come on, quick pat down. Go ahead and turn around. Okay, what we do is I would place you under arrest for obstructing right now, okay? The whole story we got when we first got here about there being another car and you acting all surprised about what happened to your car is obstructing an investigation, okay? We got a ton of damage here. And we got your boyfriend that may be hurt somewhere. I don't know where he is right now. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna have to look for him to make sure he's not injured. So you understand why you're going downtown? You lied to us, which caused a lot more resources to be here than what we actually needed. So it all probably stemmed from a domestic dispute that turned into you probably running your boyfriend over and backing through this business, and then you lied to us about it. So we're gonna end it right here, and you're gonna be going downtown, okay? I've been with the, the sheriff's department now for a little over six years. I wanted a, a career that was going to be challenging, something different every day. I've done a, a lot of different jobs in my life, so none of it really, really did it for me. I went on a couple ride-alongs with some buddies of mine, and I just fell in love with it. And I knew that's what I had to do. Hey, we're going to go ahead and pull this car over in front of us. Tags are expired for about a month. I meant six traffic. I have the return. Hello. Hi. I'm Deputy Brunton. What are you doing? What am I doing? Oh, Sheriff's Department. The reason I'm pulling you over is because your tags are expired. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. It would show that a registration in progress. There's nothing like that. You got a marijuana pipe sitting right there in plain view, girl. What are you doing? You pretty stoned? Is that why you forgot to hide it? 
Can you turn the car off? Go ahead and drive out of the car for me. Okay, come on over here and talk to me so we don't get hit. Come on up here. How much weed you smoke tonight? How much weed did you smoke tonight? Don't, don't play with me, because I'll have a DUI car come over here and you'll go to jail for driving under the influence of marijuana. All right, I'm not stupid. I can see it in your eyes. How much weed you got in the car? I don't have any weed. You don't have none? Just what's in the bowl? Yeah. You're lying to me? Because I'm going to go, I'm going to look. No, I'm not lying. Huh? No, I'm not lying. Is that pipe still hot? You just got done hitting it or what? No, I didn't. No? Mm -hmm. Tilt your head all the way back, close your eyes. Mad six, cut to the You're stoned, girl. Are you going to tell me you're not? Because I'm not. Oh, you're not? I'm just, I don't know, I'm just scared. Huh? Because I'm just a little nervous. You should be nervous. You know what I mean? Never been arrested before. You got weed sitting there right there in your car where I could see it. That's not good. That's not good, Angela. You sure there's nothing else in there? Because I'm going to go look. If you're lying to me, you're going to go to jail, and I'm going to take your car. No, there's nothing else. OK, just that little bit of weed. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go look. Don't run. If you run, I'll chase you. She's got a uh, marijuana pipe sitting right next to her cookies. A little bit of marijuana residue in there. What's in this, another marijuana pipe? No? What? A meth pipe? Girl. You got meth in here too? Look, you, you've been lying to me from the get-go because you told me there was nothing else illegal. And then I find this, now. Not that I knew of. Huh? Not that I knew of. Not that you know of. Not that I knew of. Huh? Not that I knew of. What do you mean? Do you have anything on you you're not supposed to have? Stand up. Anything in your pockets? Um, a cigarette. Take them out. Cigarette. Matches. Well, I don't know what to believe. Everything that's coming out of your mouth is a lie so far. Has it not been? You know what I mean? You tell me you don't smoke weed. You tell me there's nothing else in your car. I find a meth pipe. I'm still looking. Meth six. Do we have another unit of, uh, in the area? So far, it's a meth pipe um, used for smoking uh, methamphetamine. Looks like there's some residue in there, not a whole lot. Probably enough to charge her with possession of a controlled substance. Marijuana pipe. And we're still looking, so we'll see what else we got in here. And a straw. So you're not only smoking speed, you're snorting speed. What's going on, Scotty? Um, she's not being real truthful with me yet. I just found another uh, container that has a straw that has residue in it as well, so. When's the last time you used? What's earlier? Huh? Earlier today. What's earlier? A few hours ago. Huh? A few hours ago. A few hours ago? How much to smoke? Nothing really. Nothing really? Like, no, I'm serious. How often do you use? <laughs> this is like the first time that I am. First time was today? <laughs> no, it's been the first time in a while. I was actually doing really good. You fell back off the wagon, huh? Find a baggie. She's got a straw. She's never been arrested before. 21 years old. Um, no job. She's just uh, heading down the wrong track. So I'm thinking she's gonna probably need to go to jail, if nothing else, for an eye opener. What was your first name again? Angela. Angela? How long you been using Speed? I just did it today. Today's the first time you've ever uh, used it. For like a while. Why? Why do you use Speed? What's the attraction? You seem like a nice girl. You know what I mean? You've never been arrested before. Do you know what this stuff will do to you? I mean, you must know what it'll do to you. You're using it, right? So you, you research it, you know what's in it. I mean, this is some bad stuff. You know you're going down the wrong road, right? Sad, you seem like a nice girl. You know what I mean? You probably come from a, a decent family. You still living at home? Yeah? 
You got any kids, anything like that? No? You plan on having a family someday, living a regular life? Yeah, this isn't gonna get you there. You know what I mean? Well, more than likely what's gonna happen now is you're gonna go to jail. We're gonna go look at this, we're gonna determine whether or not we're gonna scrape the residue out of this, or we're just gonna charge you with the possession of the drug paraphernalia. All right, I'll be back. She goes to jail, she's either gonna determine that she, she hates it and she never wants to go back there again, or she's gonna, yeah, it's not so bad, I don't mind this. The dope's worth it. And I don't think that's gonna be this case. I think this is gonna be one of those cases that we can actually change someone's life, hopefully for the better, and get her off of this. I like the guys that I work with. We got a really good squad right now. Uh, in fact, all the way just from the worker bee levels. All our sergeants are guys that came from the squad and have promoted up. And in fact, our lieutenant is even the same way. So it's, uh, it's real good to have the support we have and the teamwork and the camaraderie we have right now. Every night we go to work, we have a good time working together. We all go out and chase bad guys, and we all go home safely. At least that's our goal. We had uh, Washington State Patrol has asked for our help. They're trying to catch up to a Jeep, and they've asked us to try and get ahead of them with spike strips. And we're just a couple blocks away, so we're gonna try and get spikes down and see if we can end their chase before it really gets going. Went through the intersection. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Just following the vehicle. still just kind of rolling. And now we're going to take off going westbound on Garfield from Landsworth. Can you ask that again? No, we are. And uh, he careened a cross spinway loop and into a yard. Get out of the car! Can you get him off that side? Is this all from the accident? No, I stalked me, took off from me. Come on, okay. I didn't stalk Walk this way. I said you took off from me. I didn't say you talk, yeah. stalked me. State Patrol stopped this car. I think it was involved in a hit and run, and they took off from state. We, uh, we picked up, and when we tried to stop the car, he did stop and then just took off. And uh, when he came up to this intersection right here, he just careened right through it into these people's fence. You can see he knocked out actually their driveway fence right over here. And he tried to make a U-turn and uh, get back out on the road. And we just 
we just pinned him in the car and said, you're not getting back out on the road. We're done for tonight here. So we'll find out what the troopers want him for. And now we'll add vandalism and hit and run to all that. Was he in a hit and run? No, he just took off from me. Okay. But he's got all that damage. I stopped him. What yet? Stay okay. Route 7, he almost hit that construction. Come on, guys. Oh, okay. He almost hit those guys. So I stopped him and went inside the car and he took off. Okay. Well, I'll wake up the people here because you can see he took out a couple feet of the fence and the way. gate. Okay, we got, got Okay, we got aid. Okay, guys. Right, have a seat. Have a seat okay. in there real quick. Watch your head. So is this damage to the front, is that all from this? From coming through the gate or is that from before? Yeah, no, he didn't hit anything before he came up here and when okay. you got in front of him. Um, it started clear out on stairwell 7. Were you guys was, chasing him or just following him? Well, at first I was, I lit him up and I pulled him over. Mm -hmm. And then at that time, then I just um, walked up the side of the car. Mm -hmm. I seen his driver's license. His phone went for his driver's license. I see it and I said, there's your driver's license. Why don't you give it to me? He said, no, frunk, and left. Really? So at first I was lights and sirens, and then he started blowing stop signs. So I turned off okay. because, you know, he was um, blowing stop signs and not stopping anywhere. So I turned it off and he slowed down. Um, I was just waiting to get somebody else behind me so we can take care of it. Even with no lights on, as soon as he saw us, he blew that stop sign at 116, okay. and it was on. He's got all the stop signs that he blew back a minute. Uh, I'll, or yeah. Backtrack the course and then right. we'll do I'll do that while you okay. take him for the BAC. Okay. okay. Well, I got no problem with eluding just from from my part of things, because we were behind him for about three blocks with the lights and siren, and then he stopped. And then this made this took off, and I looked okay. through this guy's yard. So he he knew it was the police. And oh yeah. He just didn't good. want to stop for us. Sounds good. So he's gonna go. You're gonna take him and do DUI and. Absolutely. Excellent. Absolutely. You can yes. spend a night in the bucket. Yep. Cool. This is a good job. You see uh, both sides of people. Fortunately, we see a lot of the bad sides. Occasionally, you see the good sides. I uh, had a call of. A man screaming hysterically once I arrived. He was just hysterical. I, I realized he was uh, blind, and deaf and mute. So I took a hold of his hand, placed it on my badge. As soon as he felt my badge, uh, you could see him have a sense of relief and calmness. It's things like that that uh, make me realize I made the right choice for my profession. I responded to a uh, one subject beating another. It was initially reported as they were on top of the uh, subject and they're now down and the suspect's walking away. And we'll find out what happens when we get there. Hey, stay seated. Come back over here. Police officer, come over here. Cool. Grab a seat. So where's the other half of this? My dad. He's Your dad? Down the street. Where's he at? He's down the street somewhere. Does he live down there or did he walk down there? I know. I him up. Okay. Can I get home soon? Yeah, let's see. So what happened with you and your dad? Nah, we started fighting. What are you fighting with your dad? Nah, we tried to walk back, back, uh, back down the back streets. Uh-huh. And I was drunk. So what happened? What started it? Now I'm drunk. So is your dad going to be as uh, roughed up as you are? Yeah. A little more? Yeah. Hang tight right there. Um, the suspect, the one that hit him. His is, father? Oh, I don't know. He's on his sunny yeah, it's his father. He's, he's almost to shield. He's on walking on the side. Is he on Fowler? Side. Okay. Is he uh, beat up pretty bad? He looks like he's walking pretty straight, so I don't think he's so. Okay. In the middle of the street, so okay. What, what did you guys see? I saw the guy that's walking hit him uh -huh. and then climb on top of him, and I saw him hitting him several times and choking him. And choking him? Yeah. Okay. That's what it looked like. I mean, they're down here. We're just okay. right here. So the other one had the best of this one here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. We have your phone number? Um, my cell phone number. Okay. If you can leave it on, we may be calling you back shortly. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to talk to your dads who we got here. You, you want your home? dad arrested? 
No. No? You guys gonna need a ride home? I'll talk to him tomorrow. Someone will give you a ride home. Oh. Someone right. will give you a ride. Has not been patted down. He's got blood all over him. Okay. What's this guy look like? Oh, it's his father. What we're gonna do, we're gonna pat him down, take him over to his house, and uh, find his father and see what we got. Okay. See if anyone wants anything done. Stand up for me. I'm gonna have to sit in the back of my car, all right? You got my wallet? Yeah, stand up. Whoa! <laughs> Relax. Yeah, uh, I guess so, but like the east side. I don't want you to fall, man. How many beers have you had? Like four or five. Okay, just relax. See if dad's home. Is your dad home? Can you ask him to come out and talk to us? They were going at it pretty well. What's your dad's name? Alex. Can you hang out for a second? Sure. You mind if we come in? Or you want to come out and talk to us? You want to come in? Come out? Doesn't matter. Either way. You don't mind if I do this, do you? Ouch. So what happened? Ah, uh, we were there one minute. Next minute, it was like, damn, hell blew. Three Henry out there? Uh, it was like, uh, watching the strippers, and before you know it, it was like, three Frank, two one to three. Okay, time to go? So what started all this? Walking down the road, can't drive. We're drinking, you can't drive. And then, booyah. 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 You know, just one of those crazy kind of things. You know what I mean? You want to press charges? Blues? You want to press charges against your son? Oh, come on. Mr. Just, uh, I got to ask that. I know, but. I can guess the answer, but I got to ask that. That's my job. It, it's. Because obviously you got pummeled. I mean, you got a laceration up above your left eye yeah. across the bridge of your nose. Yeah, it's like one little bam. It's like. Are you headbutt you? Yeah. Man, it's like one of those, you know what? Are you not paying attention? Why are you not listening? You know, when you give the lecture. Mm hmm. You know, the dad thing. And your son lives here with you, right? Why well, you just get out of the service? So he's staying here? Yeah. Your son's going to go to jail for drunken public. You're going to stay here, and hopefully, you guys can patch this up uh, when he gets out of jail and comes back. Do you want him back here? Well, which one do you want, Jay? I mean, do you want him back here? Well, I don't want him arrested, but I guess there's no way they got to take him over that. He's going to go to jail for about six hours, six to, six to eight hours. Do you want to talk to your son right now? I ain't got nothing to say. When he gets out, it's obvious he's not, he's not going to be able to live here. These guys aren't going to get along. Well, that's off the top. You want to come out? That's your brother, right? Yeah. Okay. Does this happen often? Mm. But, well, not on purpose, probably like once or twice, you know, when they don't, they don't agree on something. But it's going to happen when they drink. Whenever they drink, they go to blows? Not every time, but... It's happened a couple times before, though. Probably once. Okay. You want to talk to him? Yeah. Okay. What's your uh, first name? Uh, JR. JR? Yeah. And this is Anthony, right? Yeah. Anthony, step out real quick. You want to talk to JR? Why? He's here. You want to talk to him? Calm, bro. Uh, yes or no? Yeah, my wrist hurt, though. Okay, we'll loosen them up right here. You okay? No. Okay, do me a favor. Yeah. Turn face that way. We're gonna loosen them real quick. Be calm. They're gonna let you I've been in there for like at least 15 minutes. But don't think it's funny. Just, just be calm about it. Learn something about it, okay? What? Uh, what it is? Dad. Sober up. All right, Anthony. Uh, drop it for tonight. You have to talk sober. Drop it for tonight. So we're up. Yeah, in a little bit. Can I have a seat? Oh. Just be quiet, bro. Should I, should I sit like this or should I get inside? If you want to, yeah, sit like that. If you want to put your uh, feet up on the seat, just yeah, scoot your butt all the way in. Man. Yeah. That's right. You want to talk to your dad? All right. Well, he doesn't want to talk to you, so. Cool. Put your foot in there. Let's go to jail. Oh. <laughs> Some of the things I enjoy when I'm not working is, is hanging out, playing softball. We have a um, travel team for the department. We go to all the police Olympics. Everybody enjoys playing together and also hanging out together. And it's important to like your, like the people that you work with. Okay, I got a vehicle here, no license plate lamp. Uh, made a couple erratic turns as we were uh, behind it. Pull them over here and see what we got. Met sex traffic.
It can be Baker just north of Arrow on 813. How are you doing tonight? Hi. The reason I pulled you over, you have no license plate lamp. Are you aware of that? No, I no. just got it back from the mechanic today. What was wrong with it? Um, we just got a new rack and pinion put in it. Rack and pinion set up? Like power steering fluid everywhere. Okay, driver's license, registration, and proof of it. my license on. Why not? I just, we left to see a friend, and I left it home. You left it at home, huh? I can tell you my license huh? number. You know that? Have you been arrested before? Any tickets? Uh, yeah. For what? Possession. Possession? When was that? Oh, Lord. A while ago. How long's a while? A months. Months? Months? Months, yeah. Okay, are you on probation? No. No probation yet. No, I have you my ticket and just left. You went to court? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a driver's license or any type of ID on you, sir? Yeah. How about there, back there? Anybody else been arrested for anything before? Any tickets? I'm on parole. You're on parole? Yeah. Okay. What are you on parole for? Robbery. Robbery. Out of where? Out of the Ontario. Out of the Ontario get it? Ontario? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to need you to step out. Me? Yeah. Yeah. You can stay there, man. Everything on you you're not supposed to have? No. Any weapons, anything like no. that? Okay, just have a seat right here for me. All right, sir, will you step out for me, please? I need to check in the whole area that you don't have anything on you, nope. any weapons. I just want to patch you down, mate, just for safety. Yeah. What's this right here? That's yeah, my cell phone. Cell phone? Anyway. Okay, do me a favor, have a seat right next to your partner over there. Ma'am, do you mind stepping out for me? Do you have anything on you you're not supposed to have? No? Due to the fact that you have been arrested before for possession, so I'll make sure you don't have anything on you right now. We, I stopped after all that. You stopped after that? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Just um, let me make sure you don't have any weapons on you or anything like that. Okay, and your cigarette case. Lighter. Okay, nothing else in there. Okay, just have a seat right there. Is there anything in the vehicle I need to be worried about? No. Do you mind if I check just to make sure? Now, why would you want to do that to yourself? So I can be happy all every day. Well, you I don't need to put scars and burn yourself to be happy every day. No, I don't. But it reminds me to be happy, like you tie a, fi a string around the finger. Well, I thought that was the thing on your wrist. No, that's for my hair. Well, why don't you utilize that instead of putting, uh, burn and putting cigarette burns in your hands? Some people are into, you know... They... Sadomasochism? Well, no, that's not sadomasochism. Oh. Sadomasochism, they, they get off on pain. Didn't find anything behind the seat, but um, did find something here in the uh, little fold-down. A nice little sack of marijuana right next to the driver. Looks like it's pretty close to an ounce, maybe just under an ounce, more than likely. If she's on probation, then she's going to go to jail, but if she's not on probation, like she says... She ended up getting a ticket for that. She'll have to go in front of a judge and explain why she's got marijuana in her little compartment here, which is obviously in her immediate control. Yep, another little baggie. This one was probably on her when I pulled her over, and this is what she stuffed underneath the, the seat. It's not a harmful substance. It's not a harmful substance. People who can use it responsibly, as with alcohol in adults, it is not a harmful substance. So you're quite knowledgeable in marijuana, is that correct? I'm a college student. I'm, I'm you're a college someone student? intelligent. I've done research. And do you know what tetrahydrocannabinol is? The technical word for THC. That's absolutely correct. And what does that do to one? It affects your brain. It affects your brain. But there's no proof it would, can kill brain cells. Would it affect your driving? Answer me that. Yes, it would, but I am not high. Okay, well, that's why I'm not, well, I'm not telling you, asking you that. Well, I understand it affects your driving. It should be used responsibly as with any legal substance. However, I do not think people should be charged for a substance that is virtually less harmless than most of the prescription medications that doctors prescribe. Is it illegal? Yes, it is. Then there you go. Until it's legal, you can't drive around you with it. That's my opinion. I'm not fighting you that it's illegal. How about this? This was underneath the seat. Was this on you when I pulled you over and you just stuffed it underneath the seat? It was already there? Yeah. So you got weed everywhere. What was your first name? Michael. Michael, go ahead and stand up for me. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. 
Michael, you have a warrant for your arrest? What? Yep. Man, what is it for? Well, I don't know at this time, but I'll let you know in a second. I think I know what it's for. It's for the, uh, it's a bench warrant. Because I didn't show up to court because I was locked up. Well, there you go. Can I put him in your unit? I'll get another unit over here to transport, but just... Okay. Thank you. What happened is I cited you for driver in possession of marijuana less than an ounce. And um, it's a misdemeanor, but it's a site, and I'm going to site release you from here. And I also cited you for no license plate lamp. That's why I pulled you over. Since you're not on probation, it's not going to go against you as far as that goes, okay? All right, um, the keys are here, and you guys are free to leave. Thank you for your cooperation. Yep. I'm kind of amazed that she's a little on the perturbed side that uh, marijuana is not legalized. She doesn't have a prescription for uh, carrying marijuana, so as far as I know, that's illegal here in California. Well, you're right there. Yeah. That's why uh, she's going to have to go to court. You have to go to court and talk to the judge. to jail, and the other guy lucked out. Yeah, he was a straight one. Good deal.